this is going to be a very, very, very fun time. So today me and my dad are going to throw on my coilovers. Like I've been saying, I've had some on the way and they finally showed up. And, moment of truth, ta-da! I got myself a set of race lands. So these are the Primo adjustable coilovers. These are the 599 ones, the fully adjustable, like I said. So we've got our dampening all the way up here and then our adjustable camber plate. And then honestly, just looking at the coilover itself, it looks really, really good. And it's blue, just like Sabrina. So clearly, I'm really, really excited because we're finally gonna get rid of this monster truck suspension and we're gonna be low, low, like that Beamer in the back. So another reason why I picked Racelands over any other uh, coilover brand was just because, well, I've seen a ton of reviews on Racelands and I thought, well, let me try them out for myself. And also, we got a lifetime warranty. And basically what that means is, let's say I break a coilover or I break a strut or my spring goes out or something like that. All I got to do is just send them a picture of it and they'll send me a new part just like that. Fun times. And they also came with this little coilover keychain that actually compresses and it's really, really satisfying. It's such a good stress reliever. Hey Dad, say hi to YouTube by the way. Hey YouTubers, I do this. <laughs> We're gonna start putting our coilovers on right now. I'm just cracking the lugs so we can get this up in the air and get this moving. All right, so just real quick, when you're jacking the car up, that little front cross member right there is where you wanna jack it at. And then when you're throwing your jacks up, I'll show you where to put those in a second. There's usually pinch welds on the side or just any piece of the frame that you can get on. So like right there, you see that metal? Like that will be a perfect spot for it. Sorry, we got the car all jacked up. And like I said, spots right there on the frame are absolutely perfect. And you should be golden, the car won't fall on you. You know, Smedia left a comment on my last video basically saying that I had some really rusty suspension and I'm not gonna lie to you, he was not joking. This is, wow. Okay, so I'm really, really sorry. I got super excited and me and my dad just kind of took on the whole project and we got three of the four coilovers in already. But as far as the process of putting it in, it wasn't you know too, too difficult. It's just my car is super rusty. So getting all those bolts off is really annoying. Mm-hmm. Nice new suspension. Huh? But just remember, your back is loaded. Oh yeah. I gotta adjust this. Fuck. We're finally done, guys. Alright, I might actually re-record this tomorrow, but you guys can't see. It looks so much lower now. It looks phenomenal. I literally can only fit one finger through there. God, it looks great. As far as stiffness and everything, we got everything all the way stiff, and I'm just gonna go for a test drive and see how it feels, and just make little adjustments from there. It's gonna take about a week for everything to settle and for me to get accustomed to it and for the car to actually really sit the way it's gonna sit, but it's gonna be great, and it was a pretty nice install. Really sorry I didn't record everything for you guys. I got super excited, and it was just a learning process, so next time it'll be better. The next day. It's actually the next day, and like I said yesterday, I'm really sorry that I didn't record a lot of the install for you guys. It was very much a uh, it was very much a learning process for me, and um, I got super excited. And me and my dad just kind of went at it and just tried to bang it out as quickly as we could, and we did a really really good job, I think. However, I know for a fact I'm rubbing. I can't tell if it's on this side or on that side. So I got the wheel off and. Uh, I was trying to see where it was rubbing and the moment I took it off, I instantly saw that and I was like, wow, okay, so I don't actually have to go lower in the back, I just need some spacers and so I'm going to go grab some three mil spacers for both sides and I'm going to just go ahead and put those on. What I do think is kind of weird is it's literally only rubbing on that side, the other side is perfectly fine. Okay, so turns out I didn't actually need a spacer, I just needed to adjust the camber bolt that was on there, so my boy helped me go ahead and fix that real quick and I'm going to leave the front at two and we're just going to take it around the block, see how it feels. Before I go anywhere, actually, I gotta cut my mud flaps a little bit, so 
don't know if you guys can see over there in the front I did cut them already a little bit so my my wow my rear is actually lower than the front so I gotta really cut these before I go anywhere because if I start driving right now it's just gonna start scraping and it's gonna be really really annoying to hear so we're gonna cut those now oh my god you know what I forgot to do crack my luck nuts I'm just tired today to be honest I did this three times already I got so because I made that rookie mistake I actually just found a way around it and I'm just gonna cut from down here it's a lot easier I don't even know how to start cutting this. Cut it. This is hard. So, that first one, honestly, just because it was my first time doing it, was kind of difficult. But then the second time around, it was a little bit easier, except I just need to learn how to flow a little bit better. As you can see, I kind of started to come down, but you live and you learn, right? Feels so firm, dude. I don't, I don't even know. Go ahead. Oh my god. Yes, this is this is where it's at. All right, hold on. Junior was behind us. I don't know where he. Is. Oh, he's not behind us now. Pull right here. Oh, at least I can still pull into places. How does it look? Does it look good? I have a question though. So like, my transmission is shaking a little bit more than usual. Is that just because everything's stiffer? It's because your car's so stiff. Your exhaust goes like this. See, that's because your car's so stiff. Because my car does the same thing. But it, but but it looks. Everything looks dialed in, like yeah. like tight, good. Nothing was shaking this loose. Is good because you're almost driving this for rally and to defend nobody. That's what's up. So you'll feel everything. Awesome, dude. If we had an FRS or a 350 right now, that'd be so lit. Oh my god. Alright, so I'm actually about to go ahead and head to Lowe's and grab an impact gun and I think I might actually bring this video to a close and next video I'm going to be throwing my brakes in so I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'm really sorry that you didn't see most of the install. The next time I do an install video you're definitely going to see way more of it so oh yeah go ahead. But peace out guys keep moving forward. Wait that's TJ's thing. I'll see y'all in the next video.